everyone, this is Jack, the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to another episode of Ragecraft 2. To Rage, to Craft. Uh, so, funny story, I've been sitting at this bed for quite some time now trying to sleep, and then I realized that it's eternally day. Uh, maybe if I read the rules at the beginning a little bit better, I would have known beforehand that it was always day and I can't set my spawn via beds. Uh, apparently in this map you set your spawn via uh, using command blocks. I'm guessing there'll be checkpoints scattered throughout the map. Uh, that's mildly inconvenient, but uh, whatever. I guess it ensures that you actually clear an area and make it safe before going back. You can't just run ahead and plot down beds or whatever. Which I guess is cool, but uh, it's also inconvenient. So, I made this base before knowing that, but I mean, I guess it's still useful. So now I have two chests, here's all my junk chest. I collected some wood off screen, collected some more coal, I made some more torches. Um, I put all the tools and extra armor that I found um, in here, just in case I die so I can grab more stuff. Um, unfortunately, I'm running really low on things, so we're going to have to go out and collect more. Uh, I also patched this up so I can actually walk across it and there's not a big gigormous hole just like chilling there. Uh, so hopefully we can make some actual forward progress this time instead of just kind of skirting around this <laughs> fence thing for 20 minutes. Uh, so yeah, oh, I hear dangerous things. So that's, mm hmm mm hmm Hey, are you, ow. I was about to say, are you not going to attack me? But I... I guess he did want to attack me. It's quite strange. Anyhow. I can't hear anything, and I don't really see anything, so I'm assuming that we're good to go for a little bit. Uh, I also need to ooh, make sure to check these chests while we're here as well. Um, last time I wasn't really checking them. Um, that's because I was trying to clear out this area. You're stuck. <laughs> um, I guess if I wanted to be super fancy pants, I could collect the chests as well, but that's not really a pressing need right now, considering I've already got those. There's creepers, man. Just stop doing the things you do. Da 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 die. there's a vampire to my right. More zombies. The sword is gonna break. Um, let's do this. I don't even have any arrows, so let's do that for now. You know, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a very good. Smartest move. Let's do that. All right. Um, why not be the best? Yeah, let's clear out another courtyard over here. Why not? All right, that's gone. So let's do this. Throw down some torches here, make this area safer, get shot, ow. Sounds like there's two skeletons. Oh no. I just realized I haven't said anything for a bit. Uh, <laughs> commentary at its finest. I was just a little bit nervous there. I wanted to make sure I didn't die a horribly silly death. Uh, I also apologize for the last video. I realized after the fact that for whatever reason my brightness settings uh -huh, was set back down to moody and while it makes for great atmosphere, it makes for horrible videos. <gasps> Watermelon? I can start farming. Uh, I'll do that off camera. Let's really super quickly drop off the watermelon so I don't lose it in a horrible adventure related incident. Uh, and I'll plant it off screen.
Keep some of it on me. Um, did I lose any armor? Yes, I lost my hat. Okay. Drop my hat. Ooh, and another wooden stake. Oh, that's great! Especially for this area, because it has smite on it. Smite and... Unbreaking. Okay. So it's a sword that lasts a while. And does lots of damage to the undead. Which is great, considering I'm in a spooky graveyard. Um, oh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, sorry for having it on Moody. I have corrected it. It's now on the brightest setting once again, so theoretically you should start seeing. Which I'm sure lots of you will appreciate. Alright, you're dead. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, place, place, and check. Alright, we're good. Mo. Kill the grave digger. Ooh, more uh, shorts. Or pants. I know the difference between uh, different types of recovering. Okay, where are all these zombies coming from? By zombies, I mean vampires, because uh, I'm getting into the roleplay. You know? Let's check this. A single emerald. Okay, I mean, I guess it'll become important at some point. I'm assuming because the rules state that you can't trade with villagers that you breed or that you convert from zombies, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that means that he's gonna have villagers, like, villagers, villagers, like, pre-placed through the map that sells useful things. Um, and because of that, I guess having the emeralds will be useful. Let's eat, because my health is getting low. And I'm not regenerating health. I'm hungry. Because I'm doing all this fighting. It's running around. Ooh. Well, okay, that doesn't help me. It's neat. I enjoy getting things. Alright, we gotta. Something's not right here. We gotta light something up, or. I don't know. Because we're gonna just zombie after zombie after zombie. Um. Let's run along here and place a bunch of torches. That should do well to negate some spawning. Whoa! Okay. Hey, I found the vampire spawning. That's great. <laughs> kind of stumbled upon it on accident. Uh, let's break it. From what I can tell, there's nothing useful from the zombies. Zombies? Why do I keep... Well, I mean, they are zombies, but they're called vampires. So far from what I can see, there's nothing of use that drops from the vampires, so there's no real point in me keeping one of the spawners. Um, that being said, it might be a good idea to keep some of these skeleton spawners so I can farm some arrows. Yeah, because they are dropping arrows. So, at the same time though, they're not dropping a whole... I, I mean, there's only really like one spawner per little area, so it's not enough to set up like a, a mob trap or something like that. I can get dyed leather. Ooh, ugh, why am I standing out in the open and doing inventory management? <laughs> I'm just setting myself up for disaster. Do I have any coal? No, so I already got a backtrack. And I don't have any um, wood either. Man, look at me being so prepared for this episode. I'm just like a preparation fiend. Well, we actually don't have to go all the way back, considering that there's wood here and then coal up there. <laughs> I love how I was chopping down something, and probably halfway done chopping that down, and then decided to gesture so that I lost what I was doing. I think I'm just going to learn my lesson the hard way, that I shouldn't be standing out in the open doing that. I feel like one of these days I'm just gonna... Actually, it's already happened. Kinda like that. Where I wasn't paying attention when I opened that chest, and lo and behold, a uh, creeper just showed up right behind me and killed me. That's gonna continue happening. And one of these days, that's gonna happen to me again, and I'm just gonna... something's gonna click in my brain, like, aha! I finally figured it out, guys. I shouldn't stand in the open when I do stuff. Like I'm doing right now. Yeah. 
I'm being smart. Um, for once. Where's my sticks? Die? Okay. <laughs> How do I identify sticks? I don't know. This is really hard. I've never played this game before, so finding sticks in inventory is perhaps the most difficult thing I have ever done. There's a ton of... I don't know how. I'm not even sure if he made a noise. But I just knew. I just turned my weary head and there was a creeper there. You know what? I got this bow. Ooh, no. Please don't blow up things. I actually think I saw a checkpoint. Ah! Oh, you killed, actually killed all the things. Alright. Um. Uh, could you not? Are we gonna just keep doing this? Alright. Gotta get in here. Aha! That is what's occurring. You know what? I'm not even gonna deal with that. I'm gonna deal with this my own way. I can go my own way. Alright, eat. Kill this creeper! Constantly. Just constant explosions right in my facial regions. Okay. Dead. Let's hop up here. Let's... My inventory's already full. Such butts. Just a collaboration of butts. Is this building made of cobblestone? No, it's not. That'd be too nice. I gotta get some torches in there. Yeah. What now, creepers? What now? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Potentially end a disaster, or it will potentially end wonderfully. It's ending a disaster. Line of sight. Line of sight. Line of sight's not working. We need to just kind of walk around the corner. One more. Ugh, how many hits does it take to get to the center of a creeper pot? No, don't! There was a chest! You jerk. Well, I'll take it. Uh oh. I gotta drop something. Uh, uh, what? What did I drop? That. Uh, uh put these on. Uh, let's throw those on the ground. Equip these. Okay. Oh, ladders. I like ladders. Oh no, I can't uh, eat this pork chop. Ah, hey. I'm on this here. Okay, we figured it out. <laughs> Worst ladder in the world. Uh, what is this? Sharpen knockback. Yes! This is the sword I've been dreaming about. This is that sword. You're gonna die now. Wow, it still takes a lot of hits. I guess it's not as good as I thought. What's this? Set spawn point. That's not necessarily the greatest idea right now, actually. Ow! Oh, that's right, there's shovels have knocked off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're dead. Wow. What in the world is happening here? Where the vampire? What is going on? Everything is confusing and scary. Well, not that scary. I do have a sharpness knockback sword that just kind of dispatches with hey, an iron. All right, I can't pick it up. I will deal with that in a minute. So where were those vampires dropping from? That's the thing I want to know. That's the question on everyone's mind. Like, I don't need these cobwebs. Again? We're doing this again. Well, it's not really again, considering I got rid of it, but it's its more of like, there happens to be more creepers? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess go figure. This guy loves creepers. <laughs> like that, see? Loves creepers. Ow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Field goal! Right between the creepers. Hey, maybe I'll get a record. No. Ow! Look at those sweet dodging skills. Probably still getting shot at. 
No, I think it was just one. There's this. No. Uh -huh. Oh, an actual witch. Well, I don't know why I'm saying actual witch because it's not like there were witches in the first place. Well, there's nothing calling itself a witch. Like, the only witches are actual witches. I shouldn't be standing here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Get lit. Feel yourself more. Oh, there is a. Ah, oh, there, there, there's a gospel creeper. It, I know it's stuck in the thing, but I still don't want to associate with it. Ow! Alright, this is getting silly. I know how to shoot arrows. Ow! See, watch. Look, I knew how to shot that arrow. Shot is the proper tense in this situation. I also know the proper tenses. And slice, 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 slice. Or not. Slice, 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 slice. I guess they can't see you. Creeper, please don't come back. Please, 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 I have destroyed this. But, ah! And that's what happens when you get overconfident, folks. Bad things happen. Uh, now there's giant holes in there. I feel like... Ooh, yay. I feel like that's going to be the status of the map at the end of this. Is it just going to be giant holes of creeper explosions just constantly? I should have been checking my surroundings first. Take that. Do that. Oh, I don't have boots. I don't have any boots. Um, I kind of want that sword because it's nice to stock up. Strength potion? That could be nice. Um, I don't really need anything else, actually, for that. Let's keep going. And by let's keep going, I mean let's have melons. Mmm, melons. I was going to say we have a food crisis, but I mean, I guess we can keep going with the melons for a little bit. The Carnegie melons. So, let's try going up here. Well... Question A. Let's set the spawn point question mark. I don't know if it's necessarily a good idea, though, considering... No, no. There's no point for me to set it here when I can just write down the street path. Uh, from the one place. I am the best at describing things, don't you know? Okay, okay, what's going on? Aha! I heard things. Eh, I'm scared. Running around the border, placing torches, because I know what's up. I know how to play this game. I understand how mom physics work. It's also physics. Using my good sword to break cobwebs. Yeah, I'm pretty much a seasoned professional with this. Um, there appears to be... Stairs. Aha, uh -huh. I see what's going on. Die, 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 please. Thank you. Okay, okay. Let's eat some melons. And keep going. Mm hmm, mm hmm. You get sliced. Sliced some more. Place, place. Pl okay, I guess if you want to get sliced first, that's fine. And break. It's break time. And that's a play on words because I A, stopped moving, and B, was breaking a spawner. Hey, ow! In case you weren't aware, um, I was, was kind of doing a play on it. Oh, they're fighting each other! <laughs> time for me to be sneaky. Yeah, that's right. You guys duke it out for a little bit. I'm just going to be up here and destroy your source of creation. It flared and Ow! That butt just launched me out of that tower. Well, you know, and actually in the grand scheme of things, I don't care that much. It hurt and it inconvenienced me. If I die... Okay. Maybe I do care. Because at first I was like, no, I don't care. You know, what do I care? I mean, I, you know, sure, he launched me out of the tower, but, you know, I destroyed the spawner. Well, there's still enemies around. And all this fighting is making me hungry. All this adventure sure does make a man hungry. That's sexist. 
All this adventure in sure does make a person hungry. Yeah. We're all inclusive here on this channel. Don't discriminate. Mmm, steak. Okay, this can go. Don't need that. That can go. Mm -hmm. I can replace that with a wooden steak. I really gotta go drop off stuff. Um, let's take a look. How far are we going? Going. I gotta set up a better system of doing this. Um, yeah, we've got uh, we've got about twenty minutes or so. So let me clear out the tower, and then we can call that an episode. How does that sound? Good. I'm glad. Isn't it great when we collaborate like this? We make such a good team, viewers. It's you and me and these adventures and, you know, saving. This is not safe. I would like to talk to the person who designed this building because this is clearly in violation of many safety codes. I'm also going to stop whipping my camera around like that. Okay. Let's make this safe. Let's place that there. And I think that should do it. I'm not going to set my spawn because I've already got alpha beta broccoli way over there. So uh, I think I'm just going to call it an episode here. Uh, off camera, I'm going to go back. I'm going to sort out this inventory because this is full of junk. Uh, i got to make myself some new shoes. Uh, hopefully I'm not a goofus and die. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing some farming on the side so I can, you know, get some food. I've got, there's so many bones. You know, I'm just going to have melons running out of my ears. Um, but until next time, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.